Well, our second match today, and it's one that had a dramatic finish to it, Coventry City against Burnley. It also showed what a tough old game it can be, because you're going to see the Coventry winger Tommy Hutchison receive a terrible shin injury that required stitches, and remember he came back to play again later in the game. Pictures from ATV, commentator Hugh Johns, Coventry City in the snazzy strip of light blue. Comes rather fortuitously for Craven. Ferguson. Craven. Holmes. Brogan. Hutchison. Ooh. Lucky that was a very solid one from Mick Doherty. And the way referee Dave Wallace is walking across to Doherty, he's got that book out. Really was a very, very solid whack. So Doherty goes into the book. Well, the agony there on uh, Tommy Hutchison's face. There's no acting going on there. Really is in pain. That's, that's a stud that's done that. And that looks very much as though it's going to need stitches. That is an open wound in Tommy Hutchison's right leg and clearly the doctor is going to be needed to do something about that well that really is a frightening sight a frightening sight Summerby nobody told him it was there Mortimer Mortimer again, no, oh, the tackle coming from Newton that time. Flynn, Newton, James, Flynn. Thompson, referee line, advantage and Hankin in with a chance. Point blank, save it again, and he's got it there. Ray Hankin has done it. one nothing Burnley. 11 minutes. Burnley all stemming very much by referee Wallace allowing the advantage to run to Burnley and the Hankin was unmarked in the edge of the penalty area King did tremendously well to parry a first time drive but had no chance with the second one so they're without Hankin and uh, there goes Hutchison's legs again case of double 11 that time Leighton James on Tommy Hutchison. Hutchison with the kick. Far post ball, and they all come rushing in, and they've lost it, and there's Cross for the equaliser. Burnley absolutely stunned by that one. 22 minutes into the second half, Cross has made it 1-1. The Burnley players will be questioning whether Stevenson was bundled or whether their own inefficiency allowed the ball, that cross ball coming in from Hutchison, to drop amongst them and for Cross to knock it into the net. Quite a solid section of injury time in the first half. And it would appear that the linesman has spotted Brian King stepping outside his... Uh, his goal here in the penalty area when he kicked that ball from hand. Well, as we go into injury time, this would be an incredible moment for Brian King to have uh, innocently committed an error which could lead to Burnley snatching something out of the game, snatching an extra point out of the game. Flynn and Newton. James moving about behind. The wall not ten yards back. The wall still not ten yards back. It's far enough. And the shot for James. Deflection in the net. Late to James. Second minute of injury time dramatically snatches this victory here it's got to be now for Burnley 
all coming back from a linesman signal who said that Brian King was outside his penalty area when he kicked the ball upfield. The free kick Flynn took, knocks it across, James gave it real hammer, King hurled himself, got his fingers to it, and it goes in off the post. Well, let's clear up a couple of points. And first, did the Coventry goalkeeper, Brian King, move outside the area with the ball in his hand when he made that clearance, a handballing offence that led to that last-minute free kick and the Burnley winner? Here's Brian King coming out, and you can see as he drops the ball out of his hands, clearly still inside the penalty area. So maybe you could say, on the evidence of that, that Burnley were more than a little fortunate to get their first away win of the season. Another point, too, about that tackle by Mick Doherty, a son of Tommy Doherty, of course, on Coventry's Tommy Hutchison, for which he was booked. Uh, as we look at that one again, I get a distinct impression that Doherty went for the ball, and Frank Lampard was saying that the little flick that Hutchison makes here is the sort of flick that he very often made when playing against him. Here comes that little flick as Hutchinson flicks it away, and Doherty goes roaring in there. A clumsy challenge, but I don't think it was particularly a malicious one, but a very painful one for Tommy Hutchison and a lesson there for all youngsters watching, do wear shin guards. And that's the